If you have found a smile that is the sweetest one you've known, if you have heard within a voice the echoes of your own, if you have felt the touch that stirs the longing of your heart and still can feel that closeness in the moment you're apart, if you are filled with wonder at the way two lives can blend to weave a perfect pattern that is scaleless and to end. If you believe some things in life are simply meant to me, then you have found your soulmate, your heart's can destiny. There are not many times in my life I've been lost for words, but today was one of them when I saw Grace in a wedding dress. She looked absolutely stunning and took my breath away and I'm sure you will agree, she does look stunning. Grace, it's been an honor to walk you down the aisle today. And in the immortal words of your old headmaster at Harrow, Stuart Morris, who said, Grace, one day you will grow into your name. <laughs> I'm delighted to say, <laughs> today's that day. <laughs> You've made it. Come on. You are my best friend, my soulmate, my everything and beyond. Since meeting you 1,892 days ago, you have filled my life with endless joy, love, laughter, and happiness. You have shown me what it feels like to be head over heels and taught me how to love. I'm so proud of you and the life you have given us. Words and photos will never be enough for me to express my love for you. And the way you light up my life all day, every day. I cannot wait to experience more joyous memories together when we are Mr. and Mrs. Pearson. See you at the top of the aisle. All my love, always and forever. G. If you could always be as close and happy as today, yet be secure enough to grow and change along the way, if you can keep for you alone your love as man and wife, yet find the time to share your joy with others in your life. If you can be as one and walk through marriage hand in hand, yet still support the goals and dreams that each of you have planned. If you can dare to always go your separate ways together, then all the wonders of today will stay with you forever. I look forward to sharing my life with you. To sharing my life with you. And as we journey through marriage together. And as we journey through life together. <laughs> as we journey through marriage together. As we journey through marriage together. I promise to cherish. I promise to cherish. Love and care for you always. Love and care for you always. Now as Grace begins her new life, there will be another person who she'll turn to for love and protection. Connor. But I want her to know. that as her father will always be there for her. I know how much Connor means to Grace and her to him, and I'm pleased to welcome Connor into the family. That's Connor a woman, not two. We've, uh, we have had the privilege to watch an often quiet and shy little girl. Hang on, this is a wrong speech. As you know, Grace has a natural exuberance and can be a little um, noisy at times, which is not surprising as she had two older sisters to compete with. 
So in order to be heard, she had to be noisy. However, despite this, she has developed into a very beautiful, clever, compassionate and loving young woman that we see here today. All of you, all, yeah. Men, you all look dapper, handsome, ladies, beautiful, flourishing. You look impeccable. You are just incredible. My best friend, the love of my life. What we've achieved in the past five years has just been incredible. You're not just, well, my G. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fantastic human being, you're a beautiful soul. Like I say, just impeccable, flawless, flawless. And honestly, I'm, I'm so, so proud of you and I love you. Thank you for everything that you've done for me and I love you so much. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, to more life. Grace Florence, Elsie Pearson.